Well, now let's begin this half hour with a court case that is raising eyebrows. An Ohio woman suing a sperm bank for medical malpractice. The reason she became pregnant with, a sper with sperm from a black donor. NBC's Katie Turr is here with more. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Tamara. And Jennifer Cramblett says it was a one-number mix-up that resulted in her biracial daughter. Now she wants the sperm bank involved to pay up. Jennifer Cramblett gave birth to her daughter Peyton two years ago. We love her more to this day. She's made us the people that we are. Never trade it for the world. Despite that love, Cramblett is suing the Midwest Sperm Bank in Downers Grove, Illinois, for medical malpractice. Cramblett says she thought she was being inseminated with a white man's sperm so the baby would look like her partner, Amanda Zinkin. Hence why we chose a, a blonde hair, blue eye uh, individual. According to the lawsuit, after Cramblett was pregnant, she found out she was mistakenly inseminated with an African American man's sperm instead. All because court papers claim a worker mistakenly read donor number 330 instead of donor number 380. It wasn't as though she was calling in September of 2011 ordering a pizza. She was calling and ordering donor sperm. You cannot just say, oops, I'm sorry, be happy you got a child and walk away from this. Cramblett suing in part, she says, so she and her partner can move to a larger and more diverse community. We just want her to have the ability to see different cultures and possibly feel welcomed. In the lawsuit, she says that living in Uniontown, Ohio, even getting a haircut for Peyton is difficult. According to the lawsuit, she says she must travel to a black neighborhood far from where she lives, where she is obviously different in appearance and not overtly welcome. But she insists the suit is not about race. I don't find any problems with having a mixed race child as far as I'm concerned. NBC News reached out to the Midwest Sperm Bank, but they declined to comment, their lawyer even hanging up on us. Cramblett and her partner provided these pictures of Peyton to NBC News and say they're not worried about what their daughter will think of the lawsuit when she grows up. And she will understand that it wasn't about, we didn't want you, we wanted a white baby. That's not what it was about. Cramblett says while her family is loving, they don't fully understand her lifestyle as a lesbian. And she's worried about how they'll unconsciously treat her daughter, which is also why she wants to move. Now she's suing the Midwest Sperm Bank for damages in excess of $50,000. Tamron. All right, Katie, thank you. Very, there are many layers here, but I am surprised that they write down the information and it's mm -hmm. not in a computer and a database. You're trusting a handwritten note mm -hmm. on, you know, who the donor is. And not to get into the legalities yeah, here, but if there are people in that community making her and her daughter feel yeah. anything less than welcome, then shame on them. Absolutely. But we'll have to hear more about that yeah. to find out. Let's get a check. In the